So Chase. Yes, Adam? Can I ask you a serious question for a moment? Of course. I didn't think this joke through. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome to downright fucking dumb. That's it. <laughs> you did it. Good, 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 good. Also, what the hell are these things flying around on screen? They a dragoon, Adam. But of why are they? Why? Why do they have bag of red on their neck? They're frogs. No, they're not. They're dragoons. Are you fucking die. <laughs> what did you just say? Why are you fucking die? Why are you fucking die? Why are you fucking die? But yeah, welcome back to Down and Dumb Run. This is a brand new episode. Damn! Yeah. I don't know how to do this. I would recommend getting good. I would recommend you actually, like, here. fucking learning how to play a video game. Here, first. I'll, here, here. Let me, let me, I got Chase. 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 Yeah, you gotta, you gotta whack that guy in his mole. Whack a mole. Get, get, get it. And then you go to the left. Got him! Go to the left! Hit the, hit the left! Nice. Wow, you didn't, you didn't Now die. what the fuck do I do? Kill them! Whack! Wow, oh. you whack. Holy shit! How is that not the most obvious thing ever? I've already beaten this part too! Like, what the fuck? Yeah, this is a new recording session. So, we, we actually, we just opened up Shovel Knight and we were on the menu screen and we're like, Okay, let's record! And then we realized that at the end of last episode we were halfway into this goddamn level. And Shovel Knight doesn't save your progress when you quit if you're in the middle of a level, so we had to play all the way fucking back up here. Fucking perfect! Chase, you- God fucking damn it, this part sucks. <laughs> Holy shit, I that's, sure got that's it! That's what I did when I was trying to beat this too. But yeah, so we had to play all the way back up to this part, because Shovel Knight Well, it's a good thumb. thing there's checkpoints or something. But yeah, we actually introed the video while we were in the in the lobby, and we're like, What's up everybody? Welcome to Down Right Dumb. Last time we were- Wait. We were definitely in the middle of a level, so we yeah. almost just went with it, it I think. Fucking per yeah, we were like, well, I mean, who really cares, and then we were <laughs> yeah, like... Yeah, we almost just restarted the level and did it all on camera. So it's like, oh, here's eight episodes of us beating a level, and then eight more episodes of us beating the same level. Oh, fuck Enjoy. you! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I recently saw the new Hunger Games movie. Yeah, I'd like Yeah. It. Which I knew it was gonna be bad. Um, someone is planning on killing me. There, my dad is out on the roof outside of our room. What the fuck is he doing? He's out. He's on the roof with a Adam, flashlight. He's, he's out and about. Looking at. Are we about to get killed? Your death going on. Is this adventure. is this what happens when? Is this when what you happens die? when people die? This is what happens when you die. But yeah, so going into the Hunger Games, the new one, the Mocking Jay Part Two or whatever the fuck. I knew it was gonna be bad, cause like. It's the it's the Hunger Games. Okay, the first adaptation here, of the book. Here's my review of the Hunger Games as a whole, and I'm gonna talk more about Mockingjay Part Two because it's actually aspects of it kind of surprised me. But so here's the Hunger Games franchise as a full. At least I read all the books too, and I like the books a lot. The third one was a, eh, but the books are really good. So the movies though, the first one was okay. I watched it and I was like, you know what? That wasn't as terrible as I thought it was gonna be. And so I was they kinda, changed like half of the storyline now. I mean, they didn't kinda. change any major plot points. They changed some they smaller changed, stuff, and they, it didn't yeah, really bug me that much. Details. I was kind of pissed off because I was like, "Wow, that was very important to me." Because like when I read the book, I was like, "Holy shit, that!" And then Chase, what have... the fuck are you doing? That is a... You ran into that wolf like 350 times. I almost got like slammed dunked into the spikes too. Uh, yeah, when when hilarious. when a movie changes a book, it feels almost like a personal attack. You know? Because totally, you're like, fuck, yeah. I love that book. Yeah, it's like, how how fucking dare you suck if, the big one? If so it ain't much. broke, don't fucking fix it! You feel? But, um. So, yeah, first one was okay. Uh, second one was trash. Third one was also, okay, but boring as hell. And fuck, fuck this, yeah, this in every <laughs> aspect bad. of it. Holy shit. And then, and then we get to the fourth one, which. Okay, so here's my main issue with God it. the damn. Pacing, since they this is some since they took the third book, yeah, it's yeah, <laughs> just just go with push. Since they, uh, they that is took, not how that works. They took one book and go. split it up into two movies. I'm no, good. I'm talking. You fucking play it. I don't want to keep doing this. <laughs> keep doing it. Just go. It's so just go. annoying. Whoosh 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 whoosh. So oh since they had to split up one book into two movies, the pacing in this in this movie was just terrible. It's like it's like you remember how the pacing in the Hobbit was bad. This. Yes, but okay. So here's here's the main issue, though. It's just like okay, here's 20 minutes of almost silence while people walk around a city, followed by a climactic build to all of your main characters dying. 
awesome. Ser seriously though, they didn't even have the decency to spread out when their characters were gonna die. So like, th they all, just happened. all the characters who died in the books, who died in pretty spread out sequences of events in the books, they all just died in two scenes <laughs> in the goddamn movie. So there was that. Uh, they kept trying to integrate jump scares. Like there was one part where they're down in the sewers in the city, going around trying to get to the capital or to Snow's fucking dingus. Um, and so they're down in the sewers and they sent some hounds after him because the capital knew where they were. Uh, and so everything was quiet while they were wandering around in the sewers. And then Katniss is like, "Hurdy dur, let me walk into this tunnel for no reason." <laughs> yeah. And then she hears like some some fucking like howling from down in the tunnel, and you're like, "Okay." Something actually interesting is gonna happen, and then and they go surprise, through this. You. They go through this fight scene and series of events with all this dramatic music, and then the the music it it like fades. Or, okay, so it so it increases the volume. Like a, they build it up really high, and then just cut it off to silence. And I was just like, okay, this is very clearly gonna be a jump scare. Like, why else would you do that in film ever? And then, lo and be fucking hold, they kept trying to jump scare me. I was wow, like, that's it's so, so well obvious. Shit, dude. Just, god damn it. Wow, jump scares was... have been done so much, and nobody's able to change the goddamn formula for how they're presented. So, they're just not scary anymore. Yeah, but, it's kinda. When the villain like, pops suspense on. Suspense is good, but jump scares are just like, oh wow, look at that. I expected that to happen. Fuck I've you. seen some really well done jump scares. Like, okay, in that game, fucking The Park. That first jump scare with the goose head turning around. Holy shit. It wasn't even really a jump scare, but it, it gave the same effect. That's a well done jump scare. When you. Fucking what? The I'll play shit now. I'll play now. Just happened! But when you just use like the stereotypical like textbook way to do a jump scare, it's not. You remove all of the scare from your jump scare! Oh, oh god. It's not. It's not a jump scare anymore, it's just a loud noise. Yeah, it, seriously. <laughs> I like. I don't care how loud you make the noise when your fucking villain pops up on the screen. If you build, if you built up to it the way every film has for the last ten years, we're gonna know what's happening. Just stop. Don't do that. And if you've read, God the, fucking if you've read damn the books, it. then you know what the fuck. Like, ah! <laughs> you would have been fine, but you kept swinging and you made yourself kill. <laughs> I knew how to get out of that, out of that, that situation, but my brain was just like, eh, fuck you. And they fuck you, and they fuck you more. One part of my brain was like, okay, swing the shovel before you fucking hit the, the snow block. And another part was like, ah! <laughs> it yeah, was like, exactly. Linkin Park's Crawling in My Skin was playing very loudly in one part of my brain, while the other part was trying to play the video game. <laughs> wow. You know that feel where you just, yeah. you're going along, and then soundtracks to things start playing in your head? Yeah, I, I and too just suddenly. Like, what's, yeah. what's happening? You're like doing something, and all of a sudden there's just this loud, like, air horn. <laughs> and you're like, what is the alert about? And the brain is just like, ah! And you're like, perfect. <laughs> I love personifying things that the brain does. Because like, you have these weird fucking it's thought like, processes. It's... And then comparing them to, like, idiotic people who oh do dumb God. things yeah, exactly. is so funny. It's like, there's this part in, uh, callback to, like, 30 seconds ago. Definitely longer than that. Also, I'm just <laughs> winning really hard at this game. Um, <laughs> you missed that snow block like eight times. Oh my god! <laughs> Fucking kill me already. Oh Jesus god. Christ. Okay, so what? So were there's you a call back to a couple seconds ago. We were watching John Mulaney's comedy specials on. Oh yeah, on Netflix. On He's a stand-up Netflix comedian. Right. He was an ex writer for uh, uh, fucking Saturday Night Live. I realized. Oh damn. Yeah. And there's this part where um. This, uh, he's talking about how kids don't have, like, a say in shit ever. Like, their opinions do not matter at fucking all. And I was like, yes, you're correct, but also, um... Yeah. And then the way he, like, portrays it is this little kid is like... Ima or it's like, imagine if kids actually, like, had their opinions heard sometimes, and he he's like... Oh, God. Here, do you want me to play while you talk? Sure, yeah, that's so a lot can... better. He's like... Fuck! And okay. the scenario is like, um... This little kid is fucking putting a bunch of, um, bottle rockets in, like, a carton of eggs. Fuck. And the adult's like, uh, I see. And, uh, wh what are you doing here exactly? And the kid's like, well, my thought process was, if I put a bunch of, um, if I put a bunch of firecrackers into this carton of eggs, the eggs would explode God! everywhere. God! Fuck! Yep, keep, keep, keep talking. 
the eggs see? would explode everywhere. Yeah, that and was, he was a good like, joke. That and was, he was that like, I see. And what uh, brought you to the conclusion? He's just like, well, you see, um, <laughs> I have so much pent up anger that I was just like, eggs. <laughs> yeah, that's totally. And that's, that's how that's, my brain still works. Exactly, and it's. I'm just like that is literally half of my brain constantly. People at like. People will ask wow. me what I'm thinking when I do something dumb. They're like, what are you thinking? And I'm like, I'm fucking, what, what are you, well, are you kidding me? if I put this firecracker in this carton of eggs, the eggs would explode everywhere. <laughs> and then I was like, yes. Exactly. Good, good deduction, kid. God, cha fucking play the video game! God. I actually, I was doing really well when I wasn't talking and I was playing. Yeah, it's like, for example, your brain. For, for example, but yeah, it's it takes like half your brain power to fucking play the video game And then the other half is like hurdy dur how do I say things funny? <laughs> or others and just in general like you're just like doing some shit And then your brain is just like air horns and you're like yes why though and it's just like fuck, fuck ah! yeah. And you're like all right Do you ever have those days where you're just you're just going along just fine And then something will happen and your brain will just go into shock and you won't like you won't think about shit ever again. No, you're yeah, just, like you're worried that you just have someone will brain someone will say something that just kind of throws you off mentally, and then for the rest of the day you just don't do anything, and you're like, what? What was that? <laughs> you're like, why? A uh, more yeah. why? Next, <laughs> I'm done. More bronchitis next time on. <laughs> Fuck you.